Peace be upon you. Today I'm going to talk about things you should start doing and things you should stop doing to gain fluency, to be able to talk fluently. I'm going to talk about some points that help you to do that. The first point is stop jumping from one language learning method to another. If you do a course, learn a lesson in grammar, lesson vocabulary, you should finish this lesson first before going to another one. Okay? You may get stuck in the middle of the lesson. You may face something difficult, something you can't understand. You say, oh, I will choose another one. No. Finish what you started first before going to another one. Okay? But the first point, stop jumping from one method to another. Finish what you started first. The second point is stop learning only from school. Learn at home, at any place, not just only at school. Because schools only won't make you be fluent. Okay? You have to speak English with your friends, with yourself with your family, you have to speak English. You have to immerse yourself in the language you learn. You have to go deep in it, if you want to be fluent in this language. Okay? Don't rely on school alone. Rely means don't depend on your school alone. You have to learn English at any place. From anywhere, you have to learn English. And Stop thinking in a way that, oh, this lesson or this grammar won't come in the exam, so I won't study it. I won't read it. Oh, this. Oh, they omitted this lesson or they, this lesson won't come in the exam, so I won't study it. No, it's a big, a big mistake you do. Why? Because if you want to learn a language, you have to read, you have to study, you have to learn. Don't say, oh, I'll study what I'll do in the exam. Okay? That's wrong. That's wrong. You make a big mistake. If you want to learn a language, you have to do it. You have to learn. You have to speak a lot. You have to do that. The third point is about watching movies. Watching movies is a good way to of that help you to improve your listening skills, your pronunciation, but it won't help you to speak fluently. Don't depend on movies alone. Okay? You have to speak English. Don't depend on movies alone. People think that by watching movies, they will be fluent in English. They will be able to speak English fluently by just watching movies. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. The third point is, stop accepting that everything you hear on the internet is true. Okay? Stop accepting that. Everything you hear on the internet is true. You have to choose a website or a teacher or someone you trust because there are a lot of things that are wrong they are not true so you have to choose something you trust you are sure that it's good it's true the fifth point is stop relying on the filling fill in the blank exercises and the multiple choices exercise to become fluent in English. They are great to test your language. They are great to test your vocabulary. They are great to test your grammar. It's a good way to learn grammar and vocabulary. 
but they won't help you to speak English. That, wo that won't help you to make sentences. Why? There are many people who are excellent in grammar, who are excellent, wonderful in vocabulary. They memorized a lot of vocabulary. If you ask it him in any rule in grammar, he will answer you. He will reply. Okay, but he cannot make a complete sentence. Okay, he is, I said he is excellent in grammar and in vocabulary. But, but if you ask him, if you ask him to make a sentence, a complete sentence, he won't. Okay, so relying on multiple choice or fill in the blank, exercises and the quizzes won't help you to speak English fluently. Our sixth point is stop with all the repetitive drills. The list of vocabulary and grammar drills that won't help you to speak English. I am, I takes am, he is, you are, she is, we are. If you want to speak, that won't help you. That won't help you. You have to try to find ways to speak English. These things, like vocabulary and grammar, are, are, good, are good ways for memorization. To memorize vocabulary, to memorize grammar, or the things, but won't help you to speak fluently. Memorization doesn't equal fluency. They are different. Start using English creativity. Create your sentence, write it down, then say it aloud. That helps you to speak English without thinking. That, again, you can read your sentence, write it down, then say it aloud. That helps, that helps you thinking in English or speaking Engl English without thinking. Our seventh point is stop translating from English into your own language, in your head, as I said before, because it's a big mistake to translate in your head. You translate English into your own language. You think about this vocabulary and then translate them back into English. I said that takes a long time. And in conversation, you don't have time to do all that. It's, it's a bad way. So stop translating. Stop translating. If you want to speak English fluently, stop translating in your head. If you want to speak. If you want to speak. As I said, when someone tells you a sentence in English, any sentence in English, he already oh, start to translate it in, your, in his mind to answer you and it's a mistake many phrases and idioms simply can't be translated directly into your own language in english there are phrases collocations idioms that can be translated into your, into your own language for example in some collocations and the idioms there are it rains the cats and dogs. It's a collocation. It rains the cats and dogs. If anyone hears the sentence, what would he say? Oh, it rains cats and dogs mean it rains it rains cats and dogs. Is it normal? Is it true? The sky rains cats and dogs? No. No, it's wrong. It means it rains a lot. It rains heavily. So, what would you say? If you... Oh, this is a collocation that you won't be able to translate it in your mind into 
Arabic, for example. It can be translated. Because it means, this collocation means, it rains heavily. Okay? That's what I meant. Stop translating in your mind because there are phrases and idioms in English that can be translated into your own language. Okay? Another example. He is the top dog. He is the top dog. What does it mean? He's a dog? No. Means he is the best man in his, at his work, in his place. He is the best one. He exerts effort. Okay? He does all his best. So, when I say he is the top dog, doesn't, that, that doesn't mean he is so bad. No. No, he isn't a dog. So, a collocation like this can be translated into your own language. So, stop translating. Start observing how native speakers use their language. How, how they think. How they learn. How they learn or think in English. As I said before, stop using multilingual or bilingual dictionary. Use monolingual dictionary. Study or learn English in English. Learn English in English. Not translate it into your own language. L so, let's sum up what we said. We said some points to help that help you to gain fluency, to be able to speak English fluently. The first point we said: stop jumping from a method to another one. لما أبدأ. بدل الشيء بتعلم حاجة ما انتقلش اللي بعدها لما خلص الحاجة دي الأول سواء ده vocabulary أو grammar طبيعي إن أنا أقابل حاجات صعبة في النص طبيعي إن أنا هتاخد مني وقت مجهود ما ينفعش انتقل اللي بعدها إلا لما خلص الحاجة دي الأول ليه؟ حتى لو شفت حاجة تانية برضو هواجه هواجه نفس المشكلة تمام؟ قلنا the second point stop learning from school only from school في ويز تانية أقدر أتعلم بيها ولا في فاكيشن جاية في أجازة مفيش سكول أتعلم إزاي لازم أتعلم أشوف ويز تانية أتعلم بيها تمام طبعا في دلوقتي ويز كتير جدا جدا أقدر أتعلم بيها الإيه اللانجوج and our third point is about watching movies وقلنا إن مهواش بس ال watching movies ده هيعلمني إن أنا أتكلم English fluently وقلنا بس مش بس الموفيز هتعلمني ان انا اتكلم انجلش هتساعدني في السكيلز بتاعت الليسننج هتساعدني في ده بس ان انا اعتمد على الموفيز بس طبعا ده خطا كبير جدا جدا بنقع فيه واحد يقول لي انا اي ليسن تو ا لوت اوف موفيز اند اي كانت سبيك فلوينتلي بيكوز اتس نوت ذا اونلي واي ذات يو ليرن فروم وقلنا بعد كده stop accepting that everything on the internet is true مش أي حاجة على الإنترنت تبقى حاجة صح بتعلم grammar vocabulary أي حاجة مش أي حد أثق فيه على الإنترنت مش أي سايت أدخل عليه وأذاكر من عليه حاجات في الإنجليش أكيد لأ أكيد مش كل حاجة فيه بتبقى حقيقة مش كل حاجة فيه بتبقى صح أكيد في حاجات خطأ كتير وقلنا بعد كده البوينت اللي بعد كده السؤال بتاعي fill in the blank أحط يعني مثلا بيديني باسج كده في حاجات ناقصة سبيسز كده ناقصة وعشان أكملها بفوكاب من عندي أو التشويس السؤال بتاع التشوز بيعتمد يعني الناس بتفكر إن التشوز أو في إن ذا بلانكس ده هيساعدني أنا أتكلم إنجلش أكيد لأ ده هيساعدني في فوكاب تمام في جرامر لكن كأن أنا أسبيك إنجلش أكيد لأ محتاج إن أنا أسبيك سبيكينج إنجلش The thing that only helps you to speak English is speaking English Nothing else. ولا بعدها stop learning from repetitive drills. زي grammar و vocabulary. List في vocabulary أو ده أحفظ vocabulary عشان إيه أقدر أتكلم English. طبعا ده ما يساعدنيش في ده. أبقى عارف meaning تمام. لكن عشان أتكلم English لا. 
تمام ما تقولش اي ام اي ام هي از شي از ذي ار نو ذات وونت هيلب يو تو سبيك انجلش قلنا ذا لاست بوينت كانت موجوده عندنا وهي stop translating in your head ابطل اعمل ترانزليشن in my head in my mind ان انا think about words I translate english into my own language think about the vocabulary about the meaning then it, it translate back into into english when that's a, a big mistake we do or we make that's a big mistake we make So if you want to learn English, speak English. If you want to speak fluently, you have to speak English. With your friends, with your family, with yourself. And if you, if you don't have anyone to speak to, speak to yourself. Just speak English. Okay? يا رب الفيديو يكون عجبكم. ما ننساش نعمل سبسكرايب للقناة. See you later.